Hi, Stephen. You all right? Yeah. Just come to do your check. Yeah. On every ward, every hour, every patient gets a checkup. How's your pain doing now? It's OK. Not too yeah, bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, no. we've got some water some yeah. to eat. In charge here, matron yeah. Charlotte. If standards slip, she's demoted. There's one nurse for every eight patients. This, they'll tell you here, is how to take a hospital from one of the worst in the country to one of the best. It's putting patients at the, the focus of what we do. Um, that's what we're here for, that's our focus. But also empowering the frontline staff. They're my eyes and ears, they're the ones that are here all day, every day. They see the, the issues and they, they raise them with me and I raise them with them. Cleanliness is key on Ward H4. It's been more than 2,000 days since their last MRSA infection. OK, so update our falls. 15, 16, 16 days, days today. Fantastic. Perhaps it's no wonder they like to publish their statistics. In the last six years, the hospital's reduced its C. difficile infections by 90%. It has the fifth lowest death rate in the country, the lowest outside London. And since they introduced seven-day shifts for some consultants, their weekend mortality rate has dropped by 22%. In the A&E department, it's clear this hospital is busy. The emergency department dealt with 86,000 cases last year. This is a deprived area where life expectancy is lower than average. It's been a difficult time for the NHS, and even staff here will tell you there's still work to be done. But Salford Royal has been held up as somewhat of a model by the government, an establishment from which others can learn. Serating patients, anyone want to cold red anybody? No. 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 Back on H4, there's a team meeting. Every ward is rated on performance, so regardless of job title, everyone has a voice. Salford tops the NHS league table when it comes to staff satisfaction. There is no single magic bullet. I'm absolutely clear, clear on that. Um, I do think that um, supporting staff is the most important thing to do, to listen to their ideas and support them to put them into action. Uh, I, I think also staffing levels have a part to uh, play as well. So I think that boards and leaders need to pay attention to staffing levels. Meanwhile, Charlotte makes another round, this time checking Dave, who's recovering from surgery. Salford aims to become the safest organisation in the NHS. For now, 90% of their patients rate care as excellent or very good. As Dave put it, you don't want to be in hospital, but this, he reckons, is a good one.